Joining me now is Elizabeth Larris. She's a professor of political science and international affairs at the University of Mary Washington. Thanks for joining us on the show. You're welcome. So what do you make of the timing of these charges by the Department of Justice uh, just a few days ahead of the midterm elections here in the United States? Yeah, there certainly has been a lot of activity in the last few days. A couple of days ago, um, you know, Department of Justice brought um, charges against some Chinese companies um, charging them with stealing some like aviation, um, you know, trying to get aviation intellectual property. And then, of course, we know the most recent Micron um, United Microelectronic you know, um, Corporation issue. Um, yeah, right before the um, election, of, of course, um, there is timing. There is timing in any kind of case like this. What I see is Trump is reinforcing the campaign promises that he made right before the election. When you go back to the um, campaign, when he was on the campaign trail for president, right, there were certain promises that he made, and, and one of them we heard over and over and over again was China, China, China. We're going to do something about you know, China, the trade gap, um, alleged um, in, um, intellectual property theft, things of that nature. So I think he's really driving this home a week before the elections. Yeah. And just uh, earlier today on, uh, on Thursday, we had the president of the United States talking to the president of China mm -hmm. about trade. He described it as a long conversation and a yeah. good conversation that also seemed to boost markets a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, which had been down. Yes. Also, the timing of that. I mean, it's, it's well, 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 good. Um, they should be talking, right? You know, we, we want them to talk. The absence of talk, you know, makes us nervous. But yes, um, the, we have seen that the U.S. stock market has been skittish. Uh, you know, to put it mildly, I should say, you know, in the last week and a half. And so um, he wants to have, of course, you know, a good market to placate the market. Because you see, right after he announced the phone call, right, um, the market went up. You could look at, like, the timing of when he announced, yeah, we had this phone call. It was a great phone call. You know, we have some work to do, but you know, um, we were able to, you know, converse and then and the market went up. And then same in Shanghai, right? And, you know, the Shanghai stock market is down like 20 percent, you know, since the beginning of the year. But the last three days it's gone up. And then today, you know, we, we could see some movement upward again because businesses, you know, they want they want to have some certainty. They want to be placated. And, 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 and both leaders really are trying to move the ball in that direction. Yeah. What do you make of the back and forth, though, and post midterm elections, could we see some of this sort of smooth out? I don't know. I don't know. Um, again, go back to Trump really, really holding fast to his campaign promises, right? And they were, you know, we got to do something about the trade gap. We need to, we need to really hold Chinese feet to the fire regarding intellectual property theft, cyber spying, espionage, that kind of. So I, I really anticipate that this is going to be um, a much longer process, you know, e even after the elections. Um, he's going to wait for Xi, you know, really to come to the table. You know, they're going to meet mm -hmm. and at the G20, um, um, you know, conference uh, meeting in Buenos Aires. And they're going to meet on the sidelines and they're going to talk for a while, which is a great opportunity to say, OK, we really need to iron this out. But then, you know, Xi Jinping and China needs for the United States and for Trump to say, OK, um, we're not going to threaten more tariffs. So we're going to re you know, remove the, the increased tariffs. China needs to come to the table, and that puts Xi in a, in a, a tight spot, right? Because Xi and China can't be seen capitulating to Trump, right? Mm -hmm. so, so Trump really needs to work out a, like a win-win situation for, for the, both of the leaders to go to their constituencies and say, you know, this works for the both of us. It has to be win-win. There can be no losers because then the potential loser, the one who's going to look like a loser, is just not going to be on board. Yes or no, you're fairly optimistic of, of how things could turn out? Uh, I'm sorry, by nature, I tend to be more pessimistic. I think the trade war is going to go on really well into 2019. All right, Professor yeah. Laris, thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome. We appreciate it.